Hi, I'm Miss Cat. Welcome to Be Kids Time. We're so excited that you guys joined us today. Don't forget to pay attention at the very end of our video because we have some special announcements coming up for you. I was just walking around wearing my princess crown. You know, when I was a little girl, I wanted so badly to be a princess. I remember watching a movie when I was young about a girl who discovered from her long lost grandmother that she was a princess by birth. And she found out at 15 years old. How crazy is that? I always wanted that to happen to me. You know, have a long lost grandmother who would come and tell me that surprise, I was in fact a princess. But alas, my friends, that never happened. But I do know a king. In fact, you may know him too. Do you know who I'm talking about? That's right, King Jesus. He's the king of the universe. 
That means if we belong to him, we are princes and princesses in his royal kingdom. So maybe a long lost grandmother didn't tell me I was a princess by birth at 15, but when I was five years old, I became a daughter of the one true king by giving my heart to Jesus. There's a Bible verse in Matthew 21, four through five that says, see, your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. That king was Jesus. You see, one day, Jesus told his disciples to go and borrow a donkey from someone and that he was going to ride it. Little did the disciples know that Jesus was about to make a royal entrance into town. There were crowds of people gathered together in Jerusalem for a huge festival called the Passover. They were all hoping that Jesus would be there. They had heard that Jesus performed many miracles and healed many people. You see, the Jewish people had been there waiting for the Messiah to come since the very beginning of the big God story. Jesus is the Messiah that they were waiting for. When the crowd saw him, they said, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The term Hosanna means save us. Jesus did come to save us. He came to make a way for us to have a right relationship with God. Jesus was recognized by everyone that day as their king. Not only that, but have you ever seen a palm tree before? Did you know that Israel has palm trees? Okay, I didn't realize that until I went to Israel a few years ago. Speaking of palm trees, when Jesus rode into town, people took palm branches and laid them down as he came through the street and they worshiped him. Just a week later though, Jesus ended up dying on a cross for the same people who had just worshiped him by laying down their palm branches. He wasn't just a king, he was a savior. It is so exciting to know Jesus as our king. Wow, I can't believe we're only a week away from Easter. I love the story of Palm Sunday because it reminds me that Jesus knew exactly what he was doing and he made a choice to ride into Jerusalem on a donkey even though he knew that the people who were praising him while he was riding that donkey would eventually be doing something different the next week and not praising him and rooting for him to die on a cross. But Jesus did it anyway because Jesus loves us so much. If you want to make a decision today to make Jesus your best friend, to make him the Lord and Savior of your life, to make him your king, then I want you to pray with us. Lord, today we just thank you so much for the sacrifice that you made, that you willingly made on the cross, that you decided to die for our sins so that we can live in eternal life. God, we thank you for the promise of John 3.16 that whoever believes in you will have everlasting life. And Lord, we thank you so much for loving us and dying on the cross for us. We thank you that you're alive with us and that you teach us new things every single day. And Lord, we just pray right now for each kid who made the decision to be your best friend, that you would help them grow closer to you and learn more about you. In your name we pray, amen. Let's take a little time to celebrate that decision that people just made. Let's worship together.
my heart come alive Suddenly brought to life when I met you One, two, three, jump! I'm Kat. I run our kids' ministry here at Bethlehem. Um, we have some really great stuff coming up for the kids in the next month or two. So we just wanted to give you a little bit of information and let you know that you can sign up for everything that we're announcing on our website or our app. So first up, we have our March Madness for Kids. It's going to be March 31st, right here in the sanctuary for our kids at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. I know that sounds crazy because that's a Wednesday um, morning, but the kids don't have school. So we're going to have them come to the church from 10 to 12. Seating is going to be limited because we need to practice social distance. So make sure you sign up online or on the website. And then we also are going to have that same event April 1st at our Rosedale campus. Again, seating is going to be limited, so make sure that you sign up on the website or the app. That event at Rosedale will be at 7 p.m. And you can come to the Rosedale campus. Parents, you could go to the service upstairs while your kids are downstairs enjoying a kids event. And then... April 11th, mark your calendars, write it down on your phone, whatever you got to do. April 11th, we're going to open up B-Kids. B-Kids is going to look a lot different right now because we have to maintain social distance, wear our masks. It's going to be a little different than when we first left about a year ago. But we're going to do some fun stuff. We're going to make sure that everyone is safe and we have some protocols in place. Parents, if you have questions, feel free to call the office so that you can ask questions. Um, but you're going to go ahead and start signing up for your kids. We'll be doing that online. And then also just remember that all month, the month of March, is BGMC. We're going to be collecting our BGMC offerings every single Sunday um, at our Valley Stream campus in our B Kids Connection Center through the gym. We hope that you sign up for everything that we mentioned. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call the office at 516-561-6150 or send us an email so that we can give you more information about the things coming up for B Kids. We'll see you soon.